What's up? My name is Russ. This is the Dapper Dividends YouTube channel, and I have four cheap dividend stocks for you to consider adding to your portfolio. Portfolio. Now, I love dividends because it's an awesome way to generate income without having to sell your stock. So if you love dividends, make sure you rub the sub button below. And as always, I'd love to know what you want to see more videos on. First up is Little Fuse, ticker LFUS, Elfus, not Elvis. So Little Fuse is a company that that make small electrical components called fuses, which are used to protect things like houses, cars, and appliances from electrical problems like short circuits, which can be dangerous because it can cause fires and other damage. And when there is a problem with the electricity, the fuse is gonna blow or break, which stops the electricity from flowing and keeps us safe. So here comes Little Fuse on Simply Safe Dividends, ticker again, LFUS, currently paying a 0.97% dividend and yield. Very nice, 12% 10-year CAGR, growing that dividend very healthily, and their last increase was 5%. Little Fuse is currently paying $2.40 per share, which they did just increase that over the summer. Financials looking good, ship shape actually, 18% free cash flow payout ratio. I always love looking at the free cash flow payout ratio, that's the number at the bottom that the dividends are being paid from, so I always, always use that over the earnings payout ratio, which can be a little bit more financially massaged. $12.10 of free cash flow per share, so they can easily cover that dividend. Sales growth still at 31%. Total sales, that's the money coming in the door before they start siphoning off things like selling general and administrative and the fixed and variable costs, but 2.33 billion dollars. Shares outstanding. They have increased just a touch though, but nothing crazy. Only 25 million shares outstanding. Very healthy return on invested capital of 17% and their net debt only 7%. Very low debt. I love seeing that heading into this new environment that we're in. Companies that do not have a lot of debt. And here we are on Alpha Spread. They have a base case intrinsic value of $310. Again, they're currently at $247 a share. So that gives an undervaluation of 20%. But if we do worst case scenario, five years of negative growth, they still have an intrinsic value according to Alpha Spread and their calculations, $299, which is about 17% undervalued. So that's a very nice margin of safety. And again, we've seen a lot of these numbers on Simply Safe Dividends. So there's that 17%. Right. So this is pretty cool the capital structure if you're not aware market cap of 6.1 billion dollars they only have 976 million dollars of debt cash and equivalents 474 million short-term investment 79k so the enterprise value is 6.6 billion dollars this means if you wanted to buy the company outright it would cost 6.6 .6 billion dollars. So that is enterprise value. Wall Street price targets, currently the lowest is $218, which is only 12% downside from here. And if there is one bugaboo with Little Fuse, it is that insiders have definitely sold way more than they have bought. Currently $5.8 million over the last 12 months. And again, there's millions of reasons why people could sell and it doesn't always necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. But of course we like to see buying because buying only is for one reason you think it's going to go up. And while Little Fuse has been around for 95 years, they did IPO in September of 1992. Next, here comes Enterprise Products Partners, ticker EPD. This one is pretty popular around the dividend investing community. Now, they're a company that makes and manages pipelines and other facilities for the transportation and storage of oil and natural gas and other natural resources, which is really cool because they do help to get these resources from the places where they are found to the places where they are needed needed, like factories, power plants, and gas stations, which is an important job because it helps to make sure that people have the energy they need to live their lives and run their businesses. Now, Enterprise is a really high yielding company at 7.65%, but they do get a dividend safety score of 65, which is safe. But do be aware they are a partnership. We will get a K-1 form. They were incorporated in 1968. They currently have 23 years of uninterrupted dividends, 23 years growth streak as well. 6% 20-year CAGR. Not too bad for such a high yield. They're currently paying $1.90 per share every year, which is 
47 and a half cents every quarter. And again, you will get that K1, so just be aware. I love that Simply Safe points out that the return of capital can trigger a tax liabilities in a tax sheltered account in an IRA that they would be most appropriate in taxable accounts but with the small caveat that it is up to $1,000. So that $1,001 is what you would be taxed on, even if you hold it in an IRA or a Roth. Dividend yield currently 6% above the five-year average, so it looks good. Share price doesn't move a whole bunch, but it's right smack dab in the middle of the 52-week price range. With companies like Enterprise Partners, we can't look at their free cash flow because that's where most of the growth comes from. For their extremely capital-intensive projects, we look at the distributable cash flow payout ratio, much like the free cash flow payout ratio, only 55% currently, which has been coming down. And again, they like to see below 90%, so that dividend for now is absolutely safe. And we currently see $3.43 of DCF per share. There's one little bugaboo I can see, it's that they do increase their shares outstanding, but as of late, they have not really done much since 2018 when they're at 2.19 billion, now at 2.20 billion. So that means that they are likely internally funding a lot of the growth projects, which is really unique. But ultimately, whatever it is, we want to see total sales going up and to the right. And obviously, oil had been in that bit of an unfavorable area in the mid-teens, but currently now, $55.9 billion with the oil boom. 11% return on invested capital. I like to see that. And their net debt, only 52%. So definitely looks like a very healthy, high-yielding company to me. And I think I should be buying more. Here comes EPD on alpha spread, currently $40.16 base case intrinsic value, meaning it's about 38% undervalued. They give that worst case scenario negative five-year growth of $28.62 a share, and we're currently at $24.84. This is a really good example of why you can't just look at market cap and why enterprise value is a more realistic and important number because the market cap is $54 billion, but they have $27 billion of debt and when you add the minority interest and then pull back a little bit for the cash, we get an enterprise value of about 82 billion dollars. So look at that jump from 54 to 82 billion. If you wanted to buy that company, you'd have to pony up 82 billion dollars. The lowest forecast is 28 dollars. So that's 14 percent upside from here, according to Wall Street analysts. Go ahead and pause the video right now because there are some of their competitors if you'd like to see some that are potentially undervalued as well. And check out the ownership. Look at that. Over the last 12 months, there have been no sales by insiders and they have only been buying. And while they were founded in the 60s, they IPO'd in July of 1998. Next up is Boise Cascade, ticker BCC. So they're a company that makes and sells building materials like wood and paper products. They have factories and mills where they make things like lumber, plywood, and paper, which are obviously used to build homes, schools, and other buildings. And I think Boise Cascade is an important company because they help to provide the materials that we all need to build the places that we live, work, and play. So obviously, if there's a housing slowdown, this is going to affect a company like Boise Cascade, which may have been already baked into their share price, but they currently have a dividend yield of 0.82%. So you're kind of hoping for the share price to return to what it has historically been, if you're asking me. It looks like they've been increasing that dividend since 2016 with a last growth of 5%. They've had a few nice increases from 10 to 12 cents, 12 to 15 cents sense currently paying out 60 cents per share. But look at this, they've had some special payouts over the last full year. So $6.50 of special payouts has Boise Cascade returned to shareholders. And just a really, really bombastic free cash flow payout ratio of 2%. <laughs> I mean, that's just stupid. They're gonna be able to increase that dividend for eons at this pace. Currently $21.02 of free cash flow per share, which a lot of these companies are selling materials at inflated prices, so that's of course affecting things 
and maybe not giving a full realistic picture of their earnings and sales growth, but still $8.54 billion of total sales. And they have slightly diluted shareholders, but all in all, they've been right around the 38 to 39 million share count. 48% return on invested capital. And currently they have no net debt. So this I think could really help them weather a lot of the potential recessionary storm that's coming. Here comes Boise Cascade on Alpha Spread. Currently an intrinsic value of $108 in the base case, which is if all things just remain evil, evil, even 33% undervaluation. The worst case, dude, $82. So that's an 11% margin of safety is another way of looking at that with the share price at $73 currently. Again, look at that 53% return on invested capital. That is just awesome. 10% free cash flow margin, which means that out of every dollar that's coming into the company, 10 cents of it is making it to the bottom line. Market cap of $2.9 billion. They have $475 million of total debt, but dude, they got $867 million of cash on hand, which shrinks that enterprise value to $2.5 billion. And what does Wall Street got for the price target? Unfortunately, this shows us 10% downside for that lowest forecasted target. Here are some of their competitors. Go ahead and pause the video now and zoom in on that if you'd like to. One interesting thing is that they only supply to North America and their customers are also in North America. And here we see who are their customers, Home Depot, Lowe's, and Packaging Corp of America. While suppliers, check that out, Louisiana Pacific, who just bought them, Warren Buffett just bought them. And insiders have sold $1.2 million worth of shares over the last 12 months. And Boise Cascade IPO'd in February of 2013. And our last and final company is Selenese, which is a company that makes chemicals and materials used in a variety of products, including things like clothing, food, medicine, and have factories where they mix and process process different chemicals to create these materials. Now I think Selenese is also an important company because the materials they make are used in many different products and foods that we use every day. Here comes Selenese on Simply Safe Dividends, currently has a safety score of 77, which is safe. Now in full disclosure, I do own this company outright. Current price, $109, dividend yield of 2.57%. They have a compound annual growth rate of almost 30 30% over the last 10 years, which is just ginormous. But their last increase was only 2.9%, and they have 12 years of dividend growth streak. Currently paying $2.80 per share, which is 70 cents per quarter, right here, see? But the big thing that I like, and it's come down a little bit, is that the dividend yield is 28% above the five-year average, and this is why I was buying them, and their PE was really low, and I'm kind of sad to see that they've jumped up a bit. But look at their 52 week price range. They were at 173 as low as 87, currently $109. I'd really like to buy more. And as we'll see, I probably should just be buying more right now. Yeah, that free cash flow payout ratio, only 23%. Free cash flow per share, 12 dollars. They can easily cover that dividend. Sales have come down a little bit though, but still at 22% as the sales are growing. They buy back shares. We're down to 109 million total sales, mostly flat, but have been up the last few years. 10% return on invested capital. Seven cents of every dollar coming in is going to the bottom line. Only 38% net debt, which has been coming quite down since 2012 over the last 10 years. I love to see that net debt shrinking. And as we pop on, over to Alpha Spread and look at ticker CE Selenese. Currently, again, $109. Trinsic value base case, $198, which means it's 45% undervalued. $134 is the worst case, still 20% undervalued. And this is something that I need to overcome because I had just been seeing them around $90 a share. And even though they're 110 now, I just need to bite the bullet and probably buy a few more here. It's really interesting that 45% of their balance sheet is in cash and short-term investments. Their capital structure, here we go, 12 billion market cap. They have 11 billion of debt.
got 9 billion of cash and cash equivalent. So an enterprise value of only 14 billion. So that's not anything crazy. The lowest Wall Street forecast is 83 bucks. So it's about 23% downside, but the average has about 10% upside on those shares. Here we see their competitors, which is interesting. We got Sherwin-Williams in there. So not a whole lot undervalued over here. Celanese has supplies coming from all over the world and their customers, again, mainly Japan, Germany, UK, Switzerland, China, and the US. Over the last 12 months, there's only been one purchase, no sales. That's really nice to see that the insiders are hanging onto their shares. And while Celanese was founded in 1918, they did IPO in January of 2005. So if you're still with me and you got some value out of that, please do rub the thumbs up button for me. And hey, you want to keep the party going? Well, we talked about Celanese, which is a company that Warren Buffett did buy. And I did mention another one that Warren Buffett bought. So if you'd like to see everything that Berkshire just bought and sold with a nice little spreadsheet, click the video here next to my head and I will talk to you there.